This morning we left nice and early from Port St. John's and we came across some really good gannet diving and uh, it was nice and concentrated. As we sank down to between 15 and 20 meters, we came across the attraction that all the predators were, were after. A really nice big bait ball this time, probably the size of a squash court and uh, with loads and loads of predators on it. What's always quite interesting about these bait balls is just watching how the different predators try and approach the bait ball. A lot of the dolphins try and work it from the bottom, get it up to the surface. When this happens, the, the Cape Gannets dive in and this is their window of opportunity to get closer to the action and snap up one or two of the sardines. If you look closely there, you actually see one of the Gannets getting bitten by a shark. Obviously, uh, the shark spits it out. Most of the sharks that we're seeing here were black tips and the big bronze whalers. These guys barrel through these bait balls and just snap at random at the sardines trying to get a mouthful here and there. With so much action in the water, it didn't take long for the mighty Brideswell to make an appearance. These are the biggest um, predators that the, the sardines fear, and so they should. These animals can get up to between 20 and 30 tons, so a huge animal growing up to about 15 meters in length. What always happens with the visibility being a bit bad, quite often you get bumped over or knocked by these big animals, not only the big uh, bride's whales, but also the, the, the sharks and the dolphins. Now and again you get a bit of a tail slap. So it's very, very high intense action. For the first time I also saw the big Brideswells using a bubble netting technique where they blow out the bubbles, confuse the sardines and almost block off one side of the escape route. This has definitely been the, the best day for us here on the sardine run. We've had all the big elements that you actually need to get these great visuals. We've, we've obviously got the sardines, we've got the predators, and for once today we've got the visibility. The vis was between 12 and 15 meters, so it was really good.
With the presence of the big Browswells, it didn't take long for the, the sardine bait ball to start getting smaller and smaller. And with this, all the animals that were feeding on that big bait ball earlier were all now feeding on what's left of the actual sardines. And just the, the intensity of the animals starts increasing and it gets really frenetic down there. Right towards the end you start finding a lot of the birds that swim down to 20 meters and then slowly they realize that this is not a depth that they can operate in and start making their way back up to the surface. 